It may be Hillary Clinton's week, but Monday was all about Senator Bernie Sanders. Oh! And his very loud supporters. They don't want the revolution that Sanders started to quietly end at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. They're angry about the way they've been treated by the Democratic National Committee and cite the lack of primary debates and the recent revelation of hacked emails that show outgoing chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz mocked Sanders and discussed ways to undermine his presidential bid. And it further uh, demonstrated that the, uh, the campaign has really been, I don't know, I think one could say rigged against his campaign right from the beginning. On Sunday, she announced she would be resigning at the end of the convention. But even that didn't stop delegates from her home state of Florida from booing the Congresswoman Monday. The booing continued with Sanders' endorsement of Clinton. We have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. And then onto the convention floor as the new temporary chair of the convention, Ohio Congresswoman Marcia Fudge, opened the ceremony. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're all Democrats and we need to act like it. Let's do it. But while some Clinton supporters saw it as disrespectful, those from California, the most raucous delegation, just saw it as part of democracy. We have very passionate activist people who live in California. Bernie people are still having their voice. This is what this week is about. I think post this week, then we do need to come together. And then that would be concerning if this continues. Monday's speakers, even those who were Sanders supporters. Well, I support Bernie Sanders and the movement behind him. Spoke to the need to unite around Clinton. To the Bernie or bust people, you're being ridiculous. When we turn on each other, we can't unite to fight back against a rigged system. The Hillary Clinton campaign and Sanders campaigns are both hoping for more unity and less booing through the rest of the convention.